This is a demonstration of an adaptation of the scratch collapse test for diagnosing nerve entrapments in the upper extremity using the lower extremity. Here we have a patient who presents symptoms suggestive of ulnar nerve entrapment in Grignon's canal. Normally, I would perform the scratch collapse test by having the patient resist external rotation of the shoulder. However, because of their shoulder pathology, I'll adapt the test using the ankle. I'm asking the patient to extend and evert the ankle. This activates the lower extremity muscles in a similar way to how the shoulder muscles are engaged in the traditional test. Next, I will scratch the area of the ulnar nerve compression and observe the patient's resistance. As expected, we see a momentary loss of resistance, which is a positive sign for nerve irritation. To compare, let's now test the healthy side. When I scratch, we see no power loss. This helps confirm the positive result of the affected side. Now we'll repeat the test on the affected side. Once again, we observe a momentary loss of resistance after the scratching, which reinforces the positive sign of nerve irritation. By testing both sides and repeating the scratch collapse test on the affected side, we confirm the presence of nerve irritation. This adapted method is a valuable alternative when the upper extremity is compromised. Thank you for watching. I hope this approach proves helpful in your practice.